What's up guys, in the last video we did receive some result from the image processing by text recognition API and now we want to return this data back to the JavaScript site. So let's go to our React Native Docs and we need promises section. There is also a callback option but uh, I prefer to use promise here. So to use promise to return data, we need to add promise as our last argument in the method. And then we can use promise resolve on success and promise reject on failure we can say text recognition is failed and send exception exception as an argument to reject promise for resolve, we would like to create a map. You can take a look argument types. So there is map. It's readable, but we need readable actually because we want to write some data there. So let's create readable map which will be response and we can create new map with arguments create map and set our response to promise resolve then we can set some data to our map map is actually will be same as object in javascript you can see the map equal javascript object so we can set k values but in java we need to specify exactly what type it is so i would like to put some int values it's image widths so let's name it widths and get image widths if you're not sure what type it is you can always go inside and see there is return type is int also height uh, we will need it later to determine what is uh, blocks positions scale we will back to it later and also ex except with and hate I would like to set blocks and blocks will be readable array let's name it blocks also arguments create array and I would like to set uh, put array to our response called k will be blocks and the value will be blocks our array and then in the loop I would like to also create another map call it uh, block object in the block object I would like to put string for text and remove this from here because we don't need it and a frame I would like to uh, 
create a helper function to convert rect uh, rect type to another readable map so let's do this public will return readable map get rect map and param will be argument will be rect and then create a rect object argument create map and return this object so we will put int left will be rect left top will be rect top and then width will be right minus left because the coordinate starts from left to right and height will be bottom minus top since same coordinates starts from top to bottom now we can use this function to put our rect get rect map from this get bounding box so what else we want to do here we want to add same structure but lines so we want to create lines array and then after we create lines uh, put it to the block object put array lines lines same as we do with blocks and for lines we need to do same as we did with blocks and I would like to skip elements because it's basically same for tutorial simplicity so let's copy this code and now we can just replace block with line so we create line object put uh, line text here to the line object and get rect from line bounding box and we in the end we put push array sorry push map so we need to add each our line to lines array so line object and also we need to do same with blocks we need put sorry push map so each block object to our blocks array okay we converted our data to promise resolve value now we can back to the 
javascript site our recognize image and here i would like to also create type in typescript if you don't use typescript you can skip this step but i suggest to use typescript anyway because it make your life simpler so we will have response type and it will be returned promise response and we simply can copy what will be in it it will be contain width number then it will be height then it will be blocks blocks will be array of block type so we can create block type block type contain text text is string then it contain rect which will be rect type let's create it rect will contain left number top number height number and width number then in the block we have also lines and lines will be array of line type and the line will be basically the same as a block but without line uh, field okay we created the types and now we can try to get value here basically get response await from our async function and also we can catch error in case it happened the console log of the error and maybe the console log the response to see how it looks on the on the javascript side okay let's build our project select the image process it and you see we have our response which contains seven blocks each blocks contain the text direct and lines here we have two lines which also contain direct text okay that's it in the next video we will draw it on top of the our image